My dog will now be reacting. So uh, let's hit the button. We're good. Mm. Yo. <laughs> Yo. What's poppin? It's Azel here. I'm from Italy, and this is a massive shout out for my brothers Teapot, Pulsate, Justin, and B Box International. <laughs> That's a really nice pedal. <laughs> That's so creative. Damn. You ready? It's so fun to watch. Fool, do you realize how powerful I am? What? I feel like I'm like holding my dog and trying to protect my dog from him. <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, not my baby. Jeez. There's no one there's no one like him. Like he's he's, he's incredibly he's distinct. Yeah, it's like his approach is very, very, very distinct. I'm gonna have to drop you on you. Yeah, in general, like I don't it's not just it's not just like all the sounds and the way he approaches the sounds too. It's like the aesthetic. Powerful I am. Like if I die and Azel is like, hey, what's up? I'm like, oh shit. Okay, I'm going to hell. Alright. Didn't see that coming, but man. You know what I mean? Like he's these are demonic sounds. And faces, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how that ties together, right? Like, the sound works with the face. Fool. Do you realize how He's great at presentation. Yes, yeah. Like, right there, you know you screwed up in life when that's what you get instead of the pearly gates. You're like, damn. Yeah, you know it's not purgatory. You know exactly. Okay, time to try and learn and fail miserably uh, what the sound is. Let's see. And let's time to understand. Based tutorial. 
Actually, the liquid bass um, is a, a sound that oh, came originally from me. Yeah, it was pretty difficult to make because uh, from the beginning, I was watching BR doing uh, a certain click roll with an inward bass, a very, very fluidly, fluidly, fluidly inward bass, and it was like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was like kind of similar to liquid bass, but. Uh, basically, um, the origin of the sound is from uh, a jam doing with Hippos and Teamspeak, which is a, a UK beatboxer, one of my biggest friends that I came up with uh, through uh, Teamspeak. And uh, we it does came take up a with bit to get to the actual teaching. So stuff yeah, but I, I, I actually do like. Um, yeah. I had someone. I had someone come in. Uh, it was a YouTuber who did music, and they just stopped by like my discord at one point and they were you know they talked they actually were talking about how they were with uh reaps one uh in ventrilo and it i don't know it like it brings me back to my world of warcraft rating days to hear about team speak and ventrilo and all this stuff and i get i get the bond that does form in those chat rooms in those early voice chat rooms it's it was really intimate um so i yeah i get it and it's nice. It's nice to hear about. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, is this guy, by the way? So sick. And at the same time, listening to "Color Blind" of Panda Eyes, specifically from uh, that part, from the specific part of this music. DMC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And wow, I was really impressed about that bass because ah. Uh, it was really fascinating and uh, back in the days I was trying so many tongue position like I was doing also the inward position of the of the tongue of V lane which is that the OD bass that with the inward bass like but it wasn't basically uh, the sound, the the sound design of what I of what I came up to do. Once I uh, I learned the click roll, the basic click roll with the, this one, the <laughs> then I I thought about making uh, like another technique, like from this click roll to make another kind of technique that uh, uh, which is basically a variation of the ba of the basic click roll, which uh, I will demonstrate to you in slow motion right now. Regular click roll. This is a horror movie, man. <laughs> Variation. This is. Look at those canines. Yeah, that's exactly what. Right. Okay, okay. I, I do see the difference. Okay, and like why that's such a big difference. This has way more, uh, like this is just a bigger oscillation, right? Oh yeah. Using the tip of your tongue, you barely have anything to work with. It's yeah. gonna be high pitched and. Yeah, um, and then this is just the side, which, man, that's so meaty. cool. Yeah. Yep, makes sense. Yeah. Oh man, you can even see his throat moving. Which is like... You have to put, <clears throat> to, to make the click roll by the way, you have to put the tongue on the top of your mouth and you have to breathe in like this. Maybe uh, the first atom, attempt will be like... Yep, yep, you know, you got it. it's normal actually. But once you got there, you have to bend your tongue in 90 degrees on the right of your mouth, like this. And you obtain this sound. Which Epos used it like uh, for his combo, like. I've, I've heard this.
don't remember mate actually <laughs> you know and uh, I use this by closing my mouth and having a, a very little hole on the right like this oh man which makes the liquid effect of the actual click roll folded like this <clears throat> That makes sense too, because he's, first of all, not only is he getting up closer to the mic, and so you have a proximity effect, right? Bases or boosts there. <laughs> but it's also like by doing it this way, you elongate the vocal track, which gives you lower frequencies. Of the actual click roll folded like this. <clears throat> right? You can see that as the lip is retracted, there's an emphasis on higher frequencies. And then as he purses the lips and does that, like, then the vocal tract is just longer, and so you're getting an emphasis of sound, then he gets closer. And then he himself probably is really, really, really good at, like, making, like, space in his throat to, and, and uh, oral cavity to kind of make uh, certain vowel shapes that would highlight these frequencies, so probably a combination of a couple of things. So you can put it in your combos, like... <laughs> Jeez. Like, remember, you have to bend your tongue in 19 degrees of your mouth. One of the, the craziest mouth, face the positions for a sound. Yeah, I was going to say, seen. like, nothing about his face and throat is ever subtle. It's like, this is the most metal version of beatboxing I've ever heard. Mm. <laughs> You have to obtain this oscillation. And there it is. Let me know <laughs> if you have any kind of issues or any kind of questions. Just let me know in the comments below. Everything is fine and see you guys there on the next video. <laughs> Man. I love his, I love his soundscape. His, yeah, his, uh... yeah. It's funny because he seems like such a nice guy, right? It's like, you know, it's like you'd, yeah. you'd hang with him. He's like, yeah, yeah, chill, cool. And then he starts Duality. doing this and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> like